What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through Route 203, and we're in front of the Valor Lakefront right now, and well, we still got a lot of stuff to do, and I mean a lot, because, uh, well, we haven't gone through this area right here. We really haven't, uh, mainly because I, I believe we went through the opposite way to get to Pastoria City, so, in doing so, I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm going to be using a Repel because I don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here now. Let's see. There are going to be quite a few trainers that we have yet to battle. Here we are, Route 214. And there's our first opponent. Now, our next mission is to go out to Route 210 to actually heal the Psyducks around that area. But we're going to hold off on that one. We really are. Um... <laughs> yeah, we really have to hold off on the, on the side X because we need to explore this this area right here first. So, here we have Roselia wanting us to battle, and here comes a Fire Punch. And bam! Roselia defeated, but it leaves us with a nasty Poison Point. Holy crap. Holy crap, okay. Alrighty, so there we go. We've gained a few extra points right there, but we're getting poisoned like nobody's business, and well... Let's see, another Roselia. Yeah, we can handle this. We really can. Alright. So let's go, Fire Punch yet again. Fire Punch for the win. And yes, we are not poisoned this time. Well, technically we are, but we're not going to get poisoned again. And well, Lucky is grown to level 26. And yes, we're getting hurt a little bit. <laughs> okay, so let's see. About to come out with another Roselia. This guy just has Roselias up the you know what. So, let's go right ahead and uh, use another Fire Punch, because we can. Look at that. Fire Punch does its thing. Fire Punch has won. Look at that. Okay, alright. Alrighty, and well, Collector Douglas is not feeling so hot about this right now, so we're going to be moving on. Alright, so let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon, because, you know, it's the, it's the honorable thing to do. And, well, let's see, where... Oh, okay, so we're just going to use a full heal. There we go, and, well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and use Pennywise this time. I have yet to see Pennywise in, like, the last three episodes. And let's go ahead and grab some stuff right here. Now, some of the Pokemon that will appear right here, I believe we've already caught. So there really isn't any, you know, any anything that we could do, except just battle all these people right here. Now, quick reminder, guys. Yes, uh, if my voice sounds a little hoarse, don't worry, didn't get COVID again. It's just I had a really, 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 you know, I mean a really nasty cold. I got myself checked, and thankfully, thankfully we didn't get any kind of COVID yeah, situation. So we're 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 all in the we're on the clear, and well, look at this, you're gonna vanish. Mm -hmm. So here comes a taunt. Now, like I said a few episodes ago. Stay safe, guys. Just be safe out there, especially with this whole Omicron and Delta variant coming out. Uh, you don't want to. You, you don't want to take your chances. I, you, know, you know, in the last three months alone, I had two nieces be born, and the last thing that I need is, you know, to get a bad story from my niece, like my nieces that are getting infected by this. So that's why I stay safe. That's why I do this here at home, away from people, because. Uh, it's no joke. I've already had quite a few people that I've known uh, get this this kind of variant, and it, <laughs> trust me, trust me, it is not a fun sickness to be uh, to be messing with. So that's my piece right there. Please, guys, be safe. Be safe in everything that you do, especially if you're going to school right now. Be safe there too, because <laughs> you never know. And well, let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. There's going to be a lot of items, lots and lots of items right here. This guy's, uh, his name is Jamal. He doesn't really look like a Jamal if you guys catch him on trip, but yes! Let's go ahead and start battling Guisu. Alright, bring him on. Let's go. Okay. Bounce it up and down, ready to just launch a kick right here. Let's go with a close combat. And look at that, close combat does the trick. Ooh, man, I am kicking everybody's butt right now. And the defense has fallen. But, it's okay, you know, Buisel has been defeated, and well, there's more experience points for all of us, and he's coming out with another Buisel, so let's go straight to Kid Thunder right here. And, well, let's see, let's see. Let's go right there. 
And let's do this right here. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use a Thunder Punch just to, you know, make this guy feel welcome at home and all that crud. And bam. All right, all right. Look at that. Okay, experience points for Kit Thunder level 34. It wants to learn Discharge. Okay. So, in reality, there's no need for me to actually teach it something else. And, well, since the special attack is right up there, I'm going to take away Screech. Don't really need a need. Uh, don't really need Screech right now. So, there we go. And now we got both a physical and a special th electric type move. So, let's go right ahead and use it. Let's go ahead and uh, assert our authority onto this guy right here. Discharge attack. And here comes the Aqua Jet. Holy crud. And... Bam! Okay, Weasel has been defeated. Look at that. Okay. And, well, Jamal has been defeated. And, well, he's like, he, he's not really having it right now. It's freaking hilarious. Okay, so let's move on right here. Um... That guy probably needs a Water-type Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and give Lucky a little bit of a, of a of, of training. As you guys already know, I am swapping out Pokemon wherever I see it. I'm actually having a good idea of what I want. It might be a little repetitive, and, it, and to me, it's just, you know, this game is making it repetitive to use some of these Pokemon, but I feel as though it's the best pretty much the best course to go into where I'm, I'm going to be going, and that is into the Elite Four and all that stuff, and this guy right here is, uh, well, faster than my Lucky. Right now, Lucky's a little clumpy, but guess what? Lucky's about to use a little aqua, uh, aqua tail, and that right there takes away that. Oh, my God. Oh, dang. And, well, here comes a Geodude, so let's just continue on right here. It's the Lucky Show, featuring Lucky the Quagsire. And Lucky is about to use another Aqua Tail. And good thing we took it with a Quick Claw. So should be able to actually, you know, take on some of these Pokemon right here. But here comes the Smackdown. Laying at the Smackdown on my candy ass. And, well, let's go Aqua Tail again. And there's an... Oh, crud. That's not good. That can't be good. Oh, my God. And... Well, it, we got a Sandstorm. But it's not going to affect either one of us because... Lucky is a ground type Pokemon, and just like that, there goes another Pokemon, and he's coming out with a Bronzor, so this one requires a little more force, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here, and, uh, yeah, we are going to get hit by Sandstorm, that's, that's one of my biggest uh, pet peeves is just going up against like anybody who uses Sandstorm, and well, let's go right ahead, use Flamethrower, go, Flamethrower for the win, and there goes Bronzor, mm -hmm. and <laughs> there goes Bronzor, okay, and just like that, Infernomon grows level 38, and uh, Wind Maniac has been defeated, so it's probably a good thing we like we powered, our, uh, powered up our Pokemon just a little bit right here, alright, so, let's see, we can just cross this, because, uh, yeah, we already, uh, we, we already have a repel. I'm going to use another one just for the, uh, the other situation. And, well, here we have the Ruined Maniac's Cave. Before we talk to him, let's, talk, let's get this. And we get ourselves the TM28 Dig, which is very, very important. And let's go ahead and talk to him. Everyone calls me the Ruined Maniac. I don't care what they call me. I'll just keep on chipping away at the rock wall little by little. Do you know why? I'm a Ruined Maniac who is fascinated by unknown. I know it's a little sudden, but how about you, uh, how, or how about you and me have a race? You go and catch Unknown, and I'll keep digging away. We'll have a race to see who has gotten done faster. Now, I was told that the amount of Unknown actually, you know, helped this guy, you know, go through this, this hole right here, because this is actually the entrance to, or the exit towards the other side of, uh, that Unknown play, so... I guess off-screen we're going to have to start capturing some unknown, which I kind of don't want to do, but... I mean, I've never been up in that area before, so... Actually, what am I doing? Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and just uh, move on forward right here. There's some items right there that we need to get. Pokemon trainers we need to defeat. All the fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Grab this. We found ourselves a big root. Not 
bad. And I see a psychic type trainer, so let's go ahead and swap him out. Let's go with Pennywise right here. And let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure. And yes, using the repels because we don't want to get attacked by any Pokemon here or any Pokemon here. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I'd sent you presents on the trainer for a while! It was you! Oh, okay, alright. So he can sense power levels. That's cool. You need to teach me that because I kind of want to, you know, do that right here in real life, you know, that kind of stuff. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on a Psychic, and he's coming out with a Gengar, or not a Gengar, but a Haunter. And good thing for us, we got Psychic Attack, so this will actually defeat this guy real quickly since it is a Poison type Pokemon 2. At one point, I actually wanted to use uh, Haunter and Gengar for the team. It's a bit faster, has two different kinds of, uh, of uh, typings. Don't know what's keeping me from doing it. Probably because the Pennywise has actually been doing me, uh, doing me good right here. So let's go ahead and use Phantom Force. And Phantom Force is helping us out. Look at that. He can't find us. And here comes a Psycho Cut. It doesn't work. And right behind you, Dabra has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, okay. <laughs> and just like that, Lucky grows to level 27. And we have defeated, uh, yes, Psychic Mitchell. Okay, alrighty, so let's move on right here. There, there's two more trainers, maybe three. Take on, uh, actually, let's see what kind of Pokemon. We actually need to switch out. Let's go right ahead and use Orchard Psycho. I have a feeling about this. Let's go ahead and talk to her, and oh, you want to teach me something about Pokemon? Yep. Yes, I do. I really do. Okay, so here we go. Beauty Devin wants to battle us, and she is coming out with a Wormadam. And Wormadam don't give a damn. Okay, alright, so let's go. Let's get it. Okay, Ultra Psycho, let's see what we got. Ultra Psycho, let's use a little Psychic uh, Psycho Cut right here. And the Psycho Cut barely does something, and I didn't even know this Pokemon could use Confusion. Holy crud. Okay, never mind. Alright, so let's go with a psychic. Finish this thing off. It is a bug type, so technically it's a little. It has a type advantage on us. And just like that, we then have been defeated. And, well, Devin, she's not happy. She's not happy at all. Okay. Let us move on right here. There is a super nerd, I think. Alright, let's talk. What? You do, you, did you have a Pokedex? Yes, I do. Speaking of Pokédex... Okay, so... There is a game coming out pretty soon here in January, and that is Pokémon Arceus. I'm finally saying the name right. Let's call it Arceus or whatever. Call it Arceus. That's what they're saying. I'm saying it right, whatever. So, anywho, um... One thing that I've noticed is that, yes, this game is going to be... This game is going to be a... You know, based on the old Sinnoh region. May, this is probably the reason why, like, there hasn't been a lot of uh, a lot of things showcased here in Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl, because Pokemon Arceus is going to, like, you know, give you the extra stuff that you need for these games. That's what I'm thinking. That's a surprise. I don't know. Maybe, it, maybe it's going to be something else. I do not know. But um, some of you guys have been asking me about. When am I going to come out with this game? And I probably said third game. I'm thinking 40 or 40 episodes down the road right here because it's mainly because I kind of want to, like, I really, I really want to, like, you know, get back to finishing walkthroughs like I did back in 2020. Uh, I've, <laughs> I've, I've, come, I've come out with a lot of walkthroughs, guys, just like I did as a Draven X 7 Eleven. So, what I'm doing is I'm using the weekends as much as I can to get this shit done. And, well, you know, we're getting it done. And so, I, I'm saying, by 40 episodes, I'm hoping to actually get to Pokemon Arceus at some point. At some point. Either that, or just finish off this walkthrough right here. I mean, I know I'm a little behind the other, you know, the other YouTubers and all that stuff, but that's fine by me. Like, I do, it, I do these games on my own pace and all that stuff. So, here we go, going up against another Pokemon trainer, and it is a P.I. Carlos. Wow, P.I. Carlos. I thought I thought his name was going to be Kojak. If you guys don't know what Kojak is, you're pretty stupid. 
And, well, here's Kid Thunder ready to go. And, well, Kid Thunder, let's go with a Discharge attack. I kind of want to use that right now. Oh, yes. Discharge just wrecked you. Oh, yes. Wrecked you good. And there we go. I love the experience points that we're getting right here. So, it's coming out with a Goldeen. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with a Thunder Punch right here. And, bam. Alright, alright, and there's a critical hit for all of us right there. And, well, let's see. I don't know. Huh, another Goldeen. Well, go figure. So, let's go right ahead and do this one more time. Let's go with a Thunder Punch. See if we get this going, and bam! Goldeen defeated. Yeah, buddy, okay, alrighty. Okay, alright, and, well, P.I. Carlos has been defeated. Yes. I'm feeling good about this right here. Okay. So, let's see. There is an item right there. Let's go ahead and grab it. And, wow, just as I thought, there's another trainer right there waiting for us. So, I guess we have to defeat that guy. And, well, let's see. Let's grab Let's go, go, go ahead and grab this. Yes, sir. Let's go cherry berries. And go ahead and use citrus berries. Mm-hmm. And let's go straight for this one. Kind of looks like a Pokemon right there, just a little bit. And go ahead and grab this. And yes, we got ourselves Chesto berries. Yes, we're taking all the berries, but we're not planting them at all. At all. I don't know. Does that make me into not a humanitarian or something like that? I don't know. All right, let's go with Pennywise right here. Let's go straight right here. And well, look out behind you. What is it? It's a plane. It's a bullet. It's something. It's Superman. Probably. I don't know. So, here we go, going up against Psychic Abigail, and now well, she's coming out with a Ghastly. Like pick Corrector or something. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so let's go with a Psychic Attack right here. And Psychic Attack does the trick. Look at that, look at that, okay. And, well, there goes Ghastly, not feeling good about itself. And, well, here comes a Mischievous, so let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's see. Gonna go straight to Monferno Mon. Oh yes, Inferno Mon, Monferno Mon. It is what it is. It's what it, whatever it is. So look at that. Look at that. Super Saiyan hair and everything. And well, let's see. Let's go straight for Flamethrower Attack. Now I was thinking about using a Mister Miss on my team, just for you know its evolved form. And I don't know. To be quite honest, I don't know. It's not really that strong of a Pokemon. It really isn't, so... Yeah, I, I kind of feel like I chose correctly on that that whole thing. I don't know. What do you guys think? Mr. Viss and it's a, it's a ball form? Do you guys, you, you guys think I chose correctly? I don't know. We'll find out. Alrighty, so... Let's go right ahead and not use his Psychic Attack, but let's use a Phantom Force. And here we go, going down, and... Look at that. Look at that. Okay, trying to use Phantom Force. Phantom Force does the trick. The Dabra is gone. And just like that, we get ourselves some more experience points. Ultra Cycle, level 38. Man, this team is actually doing some, some damage right now. Okay. All right. All right, so I think that's pretty much all of them right here in Route 214. And now we are actually headed straight to... Well, hold on just a sec. Going to, uh, you see your sign shoot, too badly chewed up, but there's nothing to see there. Well, I guess there is the Man Manic or Ruin Mar Maniac guy you can check out. That guy's been digging his way through the bedrock himself. <laughs> well, well, crud. Okay, so here we are back in Veilstone, and well, let's see. There is one thing I want to do. One thing I really, really want to do before we take off, and that is we're going to buy some new clothes. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Mr. No Stop, let's I like to shop. Okay, so I got enough money now to buy some new new clothes and stuff. I could go with the overalls, but that doesn't really fit me. And then we got this, the EV jack. I still don't get why people wear their the that bag right there over their shoulder. That's pretty stupid. And here we have Gengard, not my style. You got Cyber Style. Okay, so I'm thinking Cyber Style. Here we got winter style. We might use that for like when we get to the mountains. Here we got spring style. 
casual style. Look at that. Okay, so that that's not me right there. And then we got leather jacket style. So, you know what? Let's go with cyber style. Everybody's using it. Yes. Yes, that's a pretty penny. And yes, let's go ahead and put it on right here. Okay, so we are changing it up. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So now we're looking our best. Everything's looking good. Draven has some style. I'm not looking bland or anything. Anywho, in the next episode, we're going to be going straight to Route to, uh, 210, killing some Psyduck, and uh, long episodes ahead, guys. So thank you guys again for watching. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.